Hello, I'm going to show you how to connect to your X6 wireless Bluetooth gamepad. Okay, the set comes with a X6 wireless Bluetooth gamepad, USB charging cable, and an instruction manual. The instruction manual is comes in Chinese and English version. Okay, Chinese and English version. You can take a look. If I'm not sure, you can refer to this video also. Okay, so uh, before you charge it around 1.5 to 2 hours for video purpose, I have already charged it already. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to connect to your smartphone device. Okay, here on the bottom right, you can see there's a power switch button. Okay, push up to switch on, push to on. Okay, okay, so um, for video purpose, I'm using a Samsung Note 9 Mine is Android. For Android, press Home plus A. Home plus A. Okay. For iOS and Apple device, is Home plus Y. But for video purpose, we are doing a Android device today. So, we will use Home plus A. Okay. So, press and hold Home plus A around 3 seconds. You can see the lower left green light is blinking. That means it's in Bluetooth pairing mode. Okay, so go to your handphone, your smartphone, okay, scan. Uh, if you cannot find, if you cannot detect, you can press scan, but my auto detect, mine is auto detect, and it already shows Mingping X6 Pro here. Look for this Mingping X6 Pro, okay, and you click connect. So there'll be a pairing re request, press OK, okay. Next, after you have pressed the Bluetooth pairing button, go to this Shooting Plus V3 app. Shooting uh, Plus V3 app. You have to download it in the Play Store. Okay, so here you can see uh, is I've, I've, got, I've already downloaded already. Okay, so open the Shooting Plus V3 app. Okay, from here, okay, we can do uh, make sure the floating window which is the allow permission uh, is set up you can just press once okay okay then next uh, go to the plastic testing interface okay and make sure that all the buttons is working okay so you can see from here okay so you can see from here uh, I, I go let me show you here okay so you can see i press a okay the a button light up b okay so i show it to you and then r1 and then r2 okay and then lb lt okay left joystick okay right joystick Okay, and the directional button. Okay, action game the action keys. Okay, A B X Y. Okay, good. Everything is working. So, uh, now we can, you can see that uh, for this app shooting plus V three app, all the games are preloaded. The games button are preloaded. You got PUBG. Uh, you got Mobile Legend, uh, Area of Arena, Call of Duty, and many other games you can try. Okay, but if your game is not inside, not to worry. Uh, you can go inside the game. I'll also show you how to map, how to map the uh, buttons. Okay, so for now. Okay. So we'll switch to one of the game that is Gen Jensen Impact. Okay. So let's wait a while to load first. Okay, so you can see the game is loaded already. Here you can press the start button. So you can see this is the button mapping page button mapping page okay i have already uh, mapped my buttons already but i can i'm going to show you how you can make your buttons 
you can press new okay you can press new which will create a whole new button page for you you can try uh, but for illustration purpose i already pre pre mapped the buttons i'm just going to show you how you can map the buttons okay first you can just press the buttons on the screen and you, the buttons automatically appear in the center so this is the left joystick that i want to map to the movement the joystick here just bring it over okay and then press save okay and you will see you will be uh, the presets is saved successfully okay so i move so you can see i can move my joystick i can press a which is jump i set as jump b as dash okay uh depends on what you like you can set your own preference okay the l lb button is the shooting and my lt is the aiming so i can aim i can aim and shoot okay so you see i can aim and shoot okay i can also dash okay i can jump okay i can aim and shoot yeah okay so the aim and shoot is working uh depends on what button you like you can customize on your own here the select button will show you where uh your buttons are mapped okay so you can show you your button on the map okay and then you can also press select to map your own buttons okay so uh take note the this directional button okay i want for genshin game for rpg games if you have uh, want to have if you want to set the 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 right the right joystick as movement okay you can drag across here and then tap on this button itself okay an option will come out okay so choose view because you want this right button to be uh the the, the analog jo the, the joystick to be in viewing mode instead of ordinary stick so that it will shift your it can shift your character around as you view okay the speed setting i will put to one okay you can choose the speed that you like okay press ok and then press save okay okay so you can see now i can turn around okay i can move and i can turn okay full control movement and the view so from here i can do a control movement turn okay and then view i can i can uh, so called control my pre pre precision where i want to shoot and then shoot okay so you see shoot aim so i can run i can shift the angle aim and shoot okay okay so uh that's it guys this is a very simple video uh hope you like it okay and uh, follow us for more videos on our uh, buttons setup you can also uh send me a message in youtube okay thank you and happy gaming